Hi friends, today we'll be talking about backpacks, caravans, and mules, and I'll be sharing some strategies on how to protect your goods, as well as how to attack other people for their goods. Now according to the Ashes of Creation wiki, people will be able to transport goods for sale in three different ways. In their personal backpacks, on mules, and in caravans. A mule will carry ten times as much as a backpack, and a caravan will carry ten times as much as a mule. To prevent individual players from being attacked, Ashes has implemented a system called corruption. If a non-combatant player is attacked, the attacker will suffer a loss of experience and personal items. They will also be marked as corrupt, and a bounty will be placed on their heads by the game. But before I go off on a tangent, let's get back to talking about transporting our goods. Probably the safest way to transport goods is in your backpack. Since you are protected by corruption and you can't carry very much, you aren't really worth attacking. This is probably the safest way to transport expensive goods. Transporting goods by mule is a little riskier because they carry ten times as much as your backpack. Depending on what you're carrying, you might make a good target. However, I think mules are protected by corruption because of this quote. More on this later. Caravans are the riskiest mode of transporting goods of all. Caravans will constantly be under attack since they are not protected by corruption. In fact, caravans are designed to be attacked. Now let's talk about the strengths and weaknesses of these different modes of transporting goods. Backpacks will be useful for small... For instance, let's say you want to sell your Sword of Infinite Power for 10,000 embers. You don't want to put that on a caravan because there's a high risk that that caravan will be attacked. You want to walk it over to the next town in your backpack so you won't be noticed. However, if you want to transport 10,000 silver bars to the next town over, you don't want to make 100 trips with 100 silver bars in your backpack each time. That would take too long. You might want to use a mule and make 10 trips with 1,000 silver bars on each trip instead. If you are transporting something expensive, you might get some friends to go on the trip with you for protection. Caravans are best used to transport things you can afford to lose, things that can be replaced easily, and cheaper items like wood. Now that we know how to transport our goods, let's learn how to steal items from other people. I don't know if I want to give you these tips, since you might use them on me, but here goes. I'll throw in some good tips to even things out. Tip 1. When to attack solar players. Not too long ago I watched a YouTube of a guy complaining that the armor was too pretty. He wanted to start the game with rusty brown armor so he could brag about his beautiful armor later when he earned it. I completely disagree with this because I think it provides people with incentive to cheat. Which solo player should you attack? The one with the beautiful golden armor. Because if they have expensive armor, they probably have other expensive items you want to loot too. So tip number one is, attack the most expensive looking player. Tip number two, if you have something expensive in your backpack, dress down. Wear your crappy armor so you don't attract attention. Tip number three, attacking mules. Attack the mules surrounded by guards. If it's important enough to guard, then it probably has good stuff on it. Tip four. Tell your friends not to cluster around the mule they are protecting. Spread everybody out so they don't look like they're protecting you. Send some ahead or let some lag behind. They can't look like they're protecting you or they'll make you a target. Tip 5. Caravans. Wait until the caravan is alone in the woods to attack. Don't attack it 10 feet from the city gate. Why? Because cities are heavily populated. People are constantly coming in and out. If they see a caravan being attacked, they will join the fight. If they defend the caravan, that makes your life harder. If they help you defeat it, then you have to split the loot more ways. That's less loot for you. 
And now it's time for a bonus tip. Tip 6. Learn your cities and hang out near the correct one. If the city is a good place to sell wood, then all the caravans entering that city will be carrying wood. If the city is a good place to sell silver, then all the caravans coming in will be loaded with silver. Well, that's all the tips I have for you today. If you like this video and found it informative, make sure you ring the bell and leave a nice comment below. My next video will be coming out soon. Thanks for watching.